My name is James Gunn. I am uh, the writer and director of a movie called Super. Uh, I've also done a movie called Slither and a bunch of other stuff. But tonight, I'm going to do a signing here. And so before uh, we do that signing, I thought I'd go around the store and buy myself a whole bunch of stuff here at Amoeba. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I have here, it's a uh, uh, Bong John, bon, his name is Bong Joon Ho. I don't really know how you, Bong Joon Ho, his first name is Bong, which I enjoy uh, because it's funny because you smoke out of a bong. But really, this is a movie called Mother, it's a Korean movie, and it's definitely the best movie of the last couple of years. I just don't think anything comes close. I got the Japanese movie House on Blu-ray, another dynamite, dynamite film. This is the most freaked out movie that you will ever see. It's about a killer house. Supposedly it was written in part by like a nine-year-old kid as well as a director. It was supposed to be a movie that was like the house version of Jaws and it's just absolutely whacked out. And I think it's a piece of uh, genius. Actually, I think it's a wonderful film. This is one of my favorite acts in the world, a guy named Money Brother. He also played in a band called Monster. And uh, he's a Swedish dude. His name is Anders Venden. He's a great, nice guy. And he does one of the main songs in Super. And he is a fantastic, fantastic dude. And really, along with one other band, my, my favorite band in the whole world. And that other band is the old 97s. Sort of an alternative country band headed by a guy named Rhett Miller, who's another nice guy. I didn't use their songs in Super because we had more of a power pop and Swedish rock feel in Super. But I did use his song in my movie Slither. And uh, I love old 97s, and this is their newest album, and I can't wait to go home and listen to it. That this is the real thing. One of my favorite bands, uh, Godspeed You Black Emperor. Now, some people have noticed there's sort of a Godspeed You Black Emperor vibe to Tyler Bates' score in Super, and it's no accident because these guys influence me a lot in terms of a, a sort of post-rock feel. I think Tyler took it in a different direction, but they were definitely very influential on the film, and they're one of my favorite bands in the world. We got the movie Frozen, which is I don't own on Blu-ray. It's directed by my good, good friend, Adam Green. Remember that thing I said about having done this before? I totally lied. I'm scared shitless. <laughs> Fun movie, a uh, scary movie, has wolves in it eating people uh, or something, and so I'm gonna go home and watch this. This is a band. Uh, I, I don't I don't know them personally at all, so this is actually from my heart that there's a, I think you pronounce it Teo in the Get Down, Stay Downs, and I really like Teo in the Get Down, Stay Downs. I like to dance to their music, I like to listen to them in the shower, I like to pretend that I'm Teo singing those songs even though she's a girl, but I find my inner vagina listening to Teo in the Get Down, Stay Downs. They're one of my favorite bands in the world, so I'm gonna go home and listen to this album as well. Now here we have something. These are my girlfriends. This is my girlfriend, Mia Matsumiya. She plays in a band called K.O. Dot. Another post-rock band. I'm a big fan of post-rock. And uh, K.O. Dot is, of course, one of the greatest post-rock bands out there. Experimental rock at its very finest. Maybe my favorite movie of all time. Now this is a movie that I'm, I'm sick of buying things in new media because I own Once Upon a Time in the West, Sergio Leone film. 
For my money, the very best Sergio Leone film there is, much better than The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It's a tighter film, it's a better film, uh, with better acting in it. And, um, although Eli Wallach's really great in Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Anyway, I've already bought Once Upon a Time in the West on VHS many years ago, and then I bought it on DVD, but now I have to own it on Blu-ray too. I could swear we're going to have that strange sound. Right now. <laughs> And then uh, finally, oh, this one is this one is good. Now I actually own this album already. This is Be it's uh, Vespertine, the Bjork album. Um, but I'm going to give this to my brother Brian uh, because he's having some sexual problems with his his wife. And now the thing about Vespertine is that it is the best album in the world to fuck to. <laughs> And so I'm going to go give it to my brother Brian so he can go make sweet love to his wife while listening to Vespertine by Bjork. Really, it is a great song to have. He's not really having sexual problems, but it is a great album to have sex to. That's the end of my bag. Oh,